And now, I'm to report back to Miss Beaumont. And I have no idea what I'm going to tell her. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. And the chickens seem to be of, well... No help in the matter, aside from trying to get me blown up. Well, here I am back in Upper Hawksfield. Still without any idea of what I'm going to tell Miss Beaumont about. Bardolf. Perhaps the truth is better than a falsehood. Perhaps more painful initially, but better oh, in the long run. Is all right. Yes. Oh, um, it's you. The good you've done on behalf of the Arthur Hogsfield residents. I thank you. You're very welcome. But uh, perhaps you ought to sit down, or at least we should go somewhere a little bit more. Private. I have some bad news. I do hope my brother is all right. Yeah, about that. Um, I, well, I do have some news about your brother. Madame Beaumont, I do have some news of your brother. Oh, please tell me he's safe. Safe is a relative term here. I'm afraid that his good nature got the better of him, and the dark wizards he was associating with sensed that, and well, he he did not survive. To put it. Uh, as bluntly as I can. I regret to say that Bardolf had been turned into an Inferius, and I had to kill him. What? But, but how could you possibly think that an Inferius was my brother Bardolf? That's absurd! He was wearing a woolen jumper, hand-knitted. <gasps> no! No! This can't be! I'm truly sorry. I wish it had been better news. I wish you well, Madame Beaumont. <laughs> what more could I have done? Oh, Bardolf! Bardolf, my dear, dear brother. Thank yeah. you for all that you've done for us. Yes, I will give you some time and space. It seems only appropriate. Well, that went about as good as it could have. Revelio. I would say. Maybe there's stuff up here. My field guide is telling me on my map is something something in here. Yes, yes. What? Uh, perhaps? That was a... Well... A poor idea. Yes, I... I'm going to get out of here before I kill myself. 
Yes, that is certainly Revelio. The best option. I still have no idea what these balloons are for. And I need Mallow Sweet. Oh, right. I have no idea what this one's all about. Additionally, I. You know what? While I'm about, out and about, maybe she gave me some idea as to where the dogwood and death cap. Where they might be. Of course, um, there's all possibility in the world that is not the case. And it would appear that is all the more likely. Blasted. In very. Oh. Right. I am, well, at a bit of a loss. No, by the way. No. I would expect it to be in Hogsmeade. But the issue is. I don't recall seeing it. Well, I'm going to be flying basically over the place. I might as well check. Yes, let's do a... Do a Hogsmeade trip. Dogwood... Dog. Hogsmeade, here I come. Oh. Well, I stand corrected. I happened to land directly on top of it. What are the odds? Hello. Come on inside. Oh, watch yourself, though. Let's have you leave here alive. Um. That's Lumos. You're a force to be reckoned with, aren't you? Scaring all the goblins away. Oh, uh, sure. Such a wee bairn gain a thrashing to uh, a troll. Oh, I can't believe it. Yes. I've had a lot of help with all of that. And I have a way I can fix your painting. I believe the moth that you're missing. Well, Accio. come here. Lumos. Ought to be right there. Just so happens that I landed right next to it. Come on inside. Hello. Watch yourself though. Yep. Let's have you leave here alive. There we go. Another guide page. Oh, and a weird chest. Give me a moment. Don't mind me. Oh, Niffler. Nice. Huh? Revelio. I've seen all You've the stuff today. A wee butterfly to a grand treasury. Yes. The dogweed and death cap tree. This large tree with winding branches supports the shop dogweed and death cap. Well, how informative. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Welcome to Dogweed and Death Cap. Oh, uh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little deers. 
Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> Mind you don't knock the mandrakes. So you've I've said... Uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead, and I'm in no mood for a clear-up. Um... Someone's died here? I feel like I shouldn't be here. Someone died here? Aye. Fortunate, really, that it was just the one. Now then, how may I help you today? I think I'll just have a look around for now. Very well. Let me know if you see anything you like. Um, I actually am in the market for... Well, as it so happens... Mandrakes. I have... Well, I have plenty of venomous tentacular, but it might not be a bad idea to have more. What do you have for sale? Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Oh, my goodness. Oh. Well, I suppose that might be useful. Fertilizers, of course, always useful. Let's purchase that. Oh, I'm always thrilled when that. a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Do you need that? <sighs> Fine. Bleeding me dry. Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Yes, of course. Well. Okay, well. I have Venomous Tentacular and a Mandrake. Granted, it's a singular Mandrake, but... It's better than none. I think that... Very well, um... This looks intriguing. It's a little bit well south, so I follow this. Keep right. Okay. It's. Well, I think it's that. And it seems that. Expelliarmus. Okay. Lumos. Oh, wonderful. In Revelio. No, just oh. I think I just discovered something rather remarkable. Lumos, you are revealed by my Revelio spell. It makes hunting you down much easier. Wonderful. Revelio. Nothing. Very interesting. Oh, this is certainly the place. Hmm. It's a little bit town. I think it's over this way. Apparently rumors of Rookwood's men are being around here. I think that's a book page. Revelio. Oh, yes, I see. Uh, well, that can wait. Well, if rumors are to be true, 
I need to combat some people with plants. And what better place to do that than in a tomb? Yes, of... Rockwoodsmen? People? Let's play it cautious. Don't want to do anything daft. Yes, I figured. Revelio. Oh, okay. There's a bunch of them down there. The question then becomes... How does one make their way down there? Revelio. Oh. Clever. All right, must be. Cautious. Has your brain been infested with bundemans? A maneuver like that could have got us killed. All right. I'll make you wish you were back ah! at school. I'll rip you. You're the one who released Treadwell. Simon, you finished. I've seen you, Jewel. You're strapped. You're going to regret that. Incendio. Yes, generally we do not like. Thank you very much. Ha ha. That went rather smoothly. I see. Incendio! Presumably that's supposed to do something, but... Challenges. Combat. Oh, okay. Claim. Yes. Oh. No. I can't do that one yet. My, my. Some rather good stuff there. Ooh. Nice. It's a good thing that that does not count against my inventory space. Handware. Ornate juniper. No, I'm gonna still keep those. Mm. I'll leave them for the time being. Not my favorite. Nope, I still like this hat the most. No. We are keeping that. Neckwear. Very intriguing. Right. Confringo. I, I 
get the impression that is supposed to maybe it hmm no confringo no this incendio Needs something to do with fire. No. Confringo. No. Revelio. Confringo. Incendio. There. Oh. Very interesting. Damn. I don't know. Well, what's the worst that could happen? Okay. I see. Then I need Accio. that. And then I need to come back up here. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's good. And then I take this back. Uh, okay, well. I guess we're going to have to take care of our limited. Oh, I like that. Space. Now, aren't we? Ah, very well. Unidentified item. Lovely. Yes, yeah, so let's get out of here and get back to the school. Ah, I must keep more plants in my inventory. Because they were... Oh, wow, I spent a long time out here today. Tonight. Tonight. They were dead useful. And fighting off... Oh, that was rather daft. And fighting off... Those... Well, rather rude individuals. Hmm. Yes. I need to... Well, I might as well just fly back. It's a little bit more fun that way. If I do say so. No. Nope. A little bit further. There we go. This is more like it. Oh. Hello. I wasn't expecting kites. Down over here. I don't believe I have any mallow sweet. I know what that means. Merlin trial. Or do I? Well, apparently I do. Rebellion. Okay, one, two, three. Okay. Oh, moonstone deposits. Wonderful. Oh. Hmm. What is... Yeah. 
Hmm. I feel like those have something to do with it. Confringo! No. Revelio. Okay. Incendio. I am. A bit of a loss. Lumos. Maybe. Aha. I have figured out your game, Merlin. These little moths. Let's go find you your home. There we go. That's that. Settled. What a tricky individual you are, Merlin. No, I just want more pocket space. Is that too much to ask for? I suppose it is. Right, let's go back to school. Have a chat with my professors. So I actually got quite a lot done last night. Uh, I'm trying to think. There's no real easy way in over here, is there? It's not that includes getting him into the greenhouse. Ooh. The hedge dragon startled me. No, yes, this is going to be the easiest way. And then we'll head left to head towards the... Uh, yes. Towards the place. Oh, Mandrakes, okay. What do we all have here? Oh, it's just informational stuff up by the looks of it. I'm not holding my breath, but let's see if it's. Nope. It does not appear to have. Materialized yet? Unless. Out of this? I see. Oh! Ah, I, I do like that robe. Not so much that one. No. Definitely not. Very intriguing. Okay. Let's. A little bit much. I rather enjoy this one. Yes. Let's do that. Oh, I see. And I can magically change this as well. Perfect. No. Eh. What is that on? Officer's uniform. Cobalt regalia. Hmm. I think I will keep it as it as it was. <laughs> Oops. Just 
cover my bases. Okay. Uh, I'll keep the kingdom for the time being. And I like my hat. There we go. Right, this way. Revelio. Nope. Very well. Ooh, it's a good thing. I can do herbology. And then right around the corner is potions. Was po Did I just... No. No, I did not. Potions? Potions is on the other side of the hall. That way. That's right. I remember. Alright, Professor Garlic. I... have some good news. I learned things. Could be so interesting. Yes, those are massive teeth. I would be careful. to see you again yes oh Melis was perfect actually need to some of that professor I did as you had asked I've completed my assignments professor pleased to hear it professor Weasley will be too I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along perfect thank you professor Professor Hecate tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Lovely. Guardian Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice, graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. Very well. When executed correctly, you should be able to pick up boulders as though they were sprigs of sneezewort. Perfect. Uh, uh, uh. There. It's that swish and flick movement. That flick almost got me. Professor Garlic, a moment of your time? The plants are resting, so now's as good a time as any. Out of curiosity, why teach herbology? I was wondering, what made you want to teach herbology? How lovely of you to ask. I've always had an affinity for greenery, so this situation is a bit of a dream come true. After graduation, I was thrilled to be asked to step in for my old herbology professor. He'd had a slight accident, you see. Oh, oh no. dear. A shame for him, but it worked out well for you. Hmm. Well, he never cared. I mean, really cared for the plants, and they could sense it. Oh, you'd be surprised how perceptive a plant can be. At any rate, the trouble began one day when he cut into a wigan tree. Unfortunately for him, its leaves were hiding a bow truckle. You may oh. recall the marvellous creatures that resemble a twig. Yes. The little beast gouged the professor's eyes quite fiercely. Oh, no. But terrifying, I'd imagine. Uh, likely for the professor, too. And that's when you took over as the herbology professor? Well, not quite. After three weeks at St. Mungo's, my predecessor regained a tiny bit of his eyesight. He insisted on returning to the greenhouse. Interesting. Within a week, he had, he claims by accident, kicked a Chinese chomping cabbage. So it was back to St. Mungo's for him. Um, that is rather unfortunate. What a string of bad luck. Hmm, well... I felt awful for him, but I dare say I felt a bit more sympathy for the cabbage. Upon his discharge from the hospital, his indifference to plants had turned to utter disdain. He lost what little patience he had left with a particularly temperamental venomous tentacular and... Well, 
Yes. His resulting leave of absence continues to this day. Understandable. Uh, well, I, for one, am rather appreciative of the things working out the way they did. He seems like he'd be a dreadful nightmare to learn from. I'm glad everything worked out as it did and that you're the herbology professor now. Very kind of you to say. I do love these gardens and helping my students grow. Huh. Lovely speaking with you. Have a wonderful day. Oh, and remember, be kind to your Wigan trees. Yes, of course. I do like my eyes distinctly ungouged. <laughs> 